If you live by the philosophy that every minute counts, you will develop a new awareness of how valuable your time is, and that will impact how you utilize your time, which will impact your results. So the reason why every minute counts needs to be a more common philosophy is that it establishes the importance of time in which it goes deeper than time is important. The one thing about the way you spend every minute is that it's something that represents opportunity cost in which the time you are spending towards one opportunity is a time that you cannot spend on another opportunity and you cannot reuse minutes in your life. So if you are watching TV, let's say for five hours, you don't get those five hours back. You can't put them towards an opportunity that can help your business grow. Now, it is necessary to have some downtime because if you go all in with the business and you don't do anything else other than the business, then you may not be the best of people to be around, but that also affects your productivity. You want to take breaks so that you are able to return to your work feeling refreshed, and that does boost your productivity if you slip in those small breaks. So every minute counts is just a way for you to strongly understand the importance of time. So once you understand the importance of time, the next thing you have to do is ask yourself how you are utilizing the time in your day and go hour by hour. Minute by minute is too difficult, but if you go day by day, that's not clear enough as to how you are utilizing your time. And then once you figure out how you use your time hour by hour, you have to then ask yourself, are you happy with the way that you are using your time? If you say no, it may possibly mean a mindset shift in which maybe you're procrastinating too much and then you have to change that, or you just have too much work on your shoulders and then outsourcing would be the solution there. So how are you utilizing the time in your day? And one of the best advice for actually making every single minute very useful and using that time to accomplish your goals is less thinking and more doing. Because if we think too much, it leads to analysis paralysis, which is a common phrase. It basically means you're thinking so much and you have no idea what to do next. But there's another type of thinking that happens when you, you, you're you almost certain that it's going to work. You've replayed the events that will occur in your mind hundreds of times, and you keep on going back to those events that are being replayed in your mind for inspiration, but you keep on replaying those events without taking any action to making those events happen. So when you find yourself in that situation, you're in a fog. You know what you want to do. You believe this is how it's going to happen, but you don't really know until you actually take action. And then once you take action, you clear the fog around you. You realize that maybe this is a better approach to accomplishing the same goal or maybe you have to change your approach in order to accomplish your goal. So once you take action, you clear the fog around you so that the goals that you have always been envisioning, you know how to actually make them happen. That is all for this lecture. I hope it has served you. And what I want you to do is to dream big, achieve greatness, and unlock your potential today.